Hi, I'm Kabir. In this video, I will show you how to implement Acre 2 mod in Armor 3 multiplayer missions. This video is made uh, specially for Armor Malaysia, but it still can be used by other mission makers from other groups. So, let's begin. Um, first of all, let's talk about the equipment. Uh, I'm going to plonk in a uh, uh, rifleman here. Let's check out the equipment. First of all, there are three main types of radios that is going to be used by players. We have the short range radio, the medium and the long range. Uh, first, the short range, the ANPRC343. Uh, this is a short range radio for up to one kilometer only. And then uh, it has 16 channels per block. There are 16 blocks, so there are 16 times 16 channels that the players can use. Next is the ANPRC 152. Uh, this is a medium to long range radio. This radio can uh, go up to, if I'm not mistaken, up to 8 kilometers. So uh, in this radio, the channels are preset. You have platoon. Uh, net, you have air net, uh, all those channels can be set in the mission uh, editor. And then finally, we have the extremely long range radio, which is the backpack radio, the ANPRC 117. So, this is uh, similar to the 152, but it's longer in range. Alright, that's the equipment. Now, let's talk about the modules that we're going to use. First we have the basic mission setup module for Acre. In this uh, module you can have uh, unique channels per site. If you turn this on that means <coughs> um, channel 1 for independent will not be the same channel as channel 1 for blue 4. It all depends on your site. For example in the 343 if you have set your uh, radio to channel 3 uh, as a blue 4 uh, any independent tuning in to channel 3 will not intercept uh, your channel 3 frequency however if you turn this off it's all global that means uh, the same channel 1 for blue 4 would be the same channel 1 for independent next is we have the Babel language per side uh, people is essentially uh, languages that uh, is unique to uh, sites. For example, Blue 4 would have their own Blue 4 language, Independence would have their own independent language, and All 4 would have their own independent language. If you set per site, that means uh, Blue 4 will not be able to understand any of the All 4 or independent and even civilian factions. Uh, they they have their own languages. Whenever independent talks, uh, the Blue 4 would hear some distorted noise from the independent. However, if you turn on uh, per com with common, per site with common, that allows uh, Blue 4, independents, and Op 4 to have a common tongue. They can alternate between languages. Uh, for example, Blue 4 can first talk in Blue 4 language, and then when they meet with an independent, they can change their language to a common language that can be understood by both Blue 4 and independent. That's the example. And then, uh, obviously, we have no Babel. No Babel means everyone can understand each other, no matter what. So, if a uh, Blue 4 talks, uh, independents can understand, or 4 even. Also, all four can understand. <coughs> Next is the default radio 1, radio 2, radio 3, and radio 4. Uh, let's start, let's just make it uh, default. Uh, Acre or the PRC 343. This is the standard ANPRC 343. Uh, the names can be seen in the Acre uh, official website, but I'm gonna leave it as it is. Alright, the next module is the name channels module. Um, in Acre, if you use uh, medium and long range radios, for example, like the 152, the 148, and the 117, you can tune in between 
channels that are named uh, for example like platoon net 1 platoon net 2 3 and so on uh, in this module you can s determine the names according to the side which is uh, west is for blue 4 east is or oh, for independent is independent and cv is for cv i'm going to set for all uh, right now uh, we can rename the channel names uh, i'm just gonna show you an example uh, for example uh, let's call this infinity all right so we have channel one as infinity channel two is split to net two etc um, so if you try this in the mission let's try since we set the channel name uh, for channel one is as infinity if we open the radio uh, let's say the 152 we open the radio as you can see channel one is infinity and then channel two is put to net two three uh, coin net and cast net and so on let's talk about acre settings uh, since acre uses the CBA framework that means you can change the acre settings using the CBA add-on options so what you do is you go to settings and then add-on options and then you make sure you click for mission and then you scroll down you'll see acre 2 so uh, my recommendation is uh, post mix global volume and pre mix global volume you do not override the clients we let the uh, the user aka the players to decide their own settings regarding that and then uh, spectator volume we also allow and then unmute clients uh, we override uh, if your team speak has uh, a specialized channel for uh, acre users that means when they go to a mission they'll be transferred into that uh, channel uh, we Override cl the clients here. Make sure it's turned on and override clients here. And then you gotta name the TeamSpeak channel. For example, uh, let's try Acre. And then uh, make a password. Usually we make it one to three. Yes, we model interference. Uh, duplex radios. Duplex radios. If I'm not wrong, that uh, it means uh, you can transmit and receive at the same time. Currently, uh, according to my missions, I don't, I don't allow it. That means if you transmit, you won't be able to hear or receive any radio transmissions. So I'm just going to make sure it's empty. Uh, I'm going to ignore internet detection because it's, it, it works. It is uh, a little bit wonky. And then I let the terrain loss coefficient to be default. And then AI voice detection so that uh, the AI will detect the players if they are speaking too loud or yelling. Okay, if you already have um, a CBA settings.sqf file in your mission folder, you can actually add these settings to the SQF file. What you do is you press export and then you scroll down here and then you see this acre section and then you copy it, Control C shortcut for windows and then you open your mission folder and then you open your CV settings using notepad I'm currently using notepad plus plus but normal notepad can do and then you just simply paste the AK2 settings here and then you save it and then it should be done okay uh, this is regarding Zeus. Uh, from my testing, I found out that if you use Zeus as a virtual entity uh, and use Acre at the same time, it's a little bit buggy. Uh, you cannot fly around and hear the radio transmission properly. So what I usually do is I actually become a, a playable unit and make that playable unit as Zeus. For example, we already put a unit here. Uh, Role description. I put it as Zeus, and then uh, I'm going to group it in this Zeus group. Be sure we call it Zeus. But uh, if you're using Ace, you need to disable the Blue Force Tracker. This is to uh, 
disable any blue force tracker on the map so that when you are teleporting around the map you will not be detected by the players in using the map uh, make sure to use the Achilles mod or Ares uh, when you are Zeusing uh, to make yourself invincible and invisible so we have this uh, unit here that can be controlled and then we put in your basic Zeus modules uh, put in Game Master module here uh, we call it the owner should be Z1 and all add-ons but we do not force the interface uh, make sure the owner name is Z1 uh, the owner name for example in this case is Z1 is the same name as the variable name here and to be a little more secure I tend to sync this uh, if you have multiple Zeus's you can do similar things I'm go just gonna copy this character here make sure it's in the same group and then rename it to Z2 and then copy a uh, key master module make sure it's Z2 and remember not to force the interface right click and sync oh, sorry. and you should be good Okay, finally, if you're migrating from uh, Task Force Radio to Acre, please remember uh, to make sure you do not have any Task Force Radio objects in your mission, including the modules or items, uh, such as the radios or backpacks. But you can, uh, to be certain that you don't have it, is you click on Scenario, and then you go to Show Required Add-ons, make sure there's no Task Force Radio here. Also for Arma Malaysia Mission Makers, uh, I would like you to go to your mission folder and make sure on play, uh, the file on play kill.sqf. Make sure you delete this line, the force, uh, task force radio spectator. Uh, make sure you delete it and save it. Play killed and play respawn. Make sure you disable this, delete it and save it. So I hope um, uh, this video, this simple video, can help you in uh, implementing the Acre mod into your missions. With that, thank you and goodbye.